I hope everything is good. Yes, everything is fine. So how are things going so far? Going very well. I spoke with your ex. Auntie? Hear me out first. And she has agreed that you two should sort things out. I didn't say I need anyone's help with her, Auntie. Why would you even talk to her? I know. It's just that I know you both really love each other. And she told me why she had acted the way she did. What was her reason? You two were having issues. And her parents were also pressuring her to get married. And you knew this. She's lying, Auntie. Please don't tell me you asked me to come over to talk about her. Have you gotten a new woman in your life? I'm seeing someone already. Are you seeing someone? Yes, ma. We've been talking before I came back home, and I'm getting to know her more before I take the bold step of marriage. If the marriage is made up, I will know. I know, auntie. I know this. I won't just want to marry anyone as well. That's why I'm taking my time to do this. I'm still surprised to see you. I know you're wondering why I came. I am. Sonia, I need a job. I need to get something doing so that I can take care of myself, Sonia. I don't have a job for you, Nancy. You should know this already. I want to do what you guys do. Nancy. Sonia, I'm serious. I want I want in on it as well. I tried to get a white collar job, but I didn't get it. And I can't always keep coming to bother you with my own issues. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. I want to do this, Sonia. I'm very sure. Where are you going to? I'm going home, brother. Did you see you follow me to the shop to see how sales are going? You told me it wasn't necessary, didn't you, bro? What happened? Tell me. I don't want to offend you, brother. Please, just allow me to go home. Please. At least if I'm at home, I won't be seeing all this stuff going on. What is going on here that you don't want to see? All of this. You're doing all the work at home while she sits there doing nothing at all. Is that the issue here? Yes. Do you wash her clothes? We have a dry cleaner that does that. Precious, you know me before now, don't you? But you shouldn't let her take advantage of you. That's what she's doing by acting this way. You made dinner, made breakfast, and packed it up for her in a cooler to work. What is all this? It is love, sis. And she doesn't even care, Sam. I asked her that if mom was alive and she came to visit, is this how she would let mom be watching you do everything? And she said yes. Precious, she didn't mean that. I'm going home. Thank you for the money. You are one minute late. I'm on time. You brought a cooler with you, right? As I can perceive the aroma from here. Yeah, I did. I couldn't eat at home early. Why not? What happened at home? Precious came over to the house. Precious. It's been a while I heard you even mention her name. And let me guess, you two got into an argument or what? We didn't get into any arguments. Just her trying to interfere with what was happening at my own house. Can you imagine? You didn't wake up to cook. Why should I cook when my husband is the one to cook? Really, Cherry? I didn't cook, Ellen. He did everything, down to the washing of the dishes. Ah, Cherry, come on. It's not cool, really. What isn't cool there? Do you know that while we were dating, Sam used to wash his sister's clothes. He does everything for her. But now that he's doing it for me, his wife, she's got a problem with that. Can you imagine that? You should have helped out, too. Do you really want to do this? Yes, Sonia. I want to do this. This is the only way I can get money. I need to take care of my family. So you want to do this? Do you know why I'm asking you? So it won't be that you say that I'm the one who forced you to do this. You didn't force me. This is what I'm willing to do myself. Very well then, Nancy. So how do I start? Please don't tell me you are still a virgin. <laughs> I'm still a virgin, Sonia. I've not been with a man before. What? So you were lying to me all those years you told me you've been with a man? Yes, I was lying about it. I haven't been with a man before, Sonia. Sonia, Nancy, what is Nancy doing here? Why do you look this way? Thought you're not coming home until tomorrow. I and my brother's wife kind of had an argument indirectly. You were at your brother's place? Yeah. I thought you were with Benson. No, I wasn't. So Nancy, what are you doing here? Can't she come and say hello to me? Didn't she do that already? Not so long ago. I came to tell Sonia I'm interested in all you guys do. Did I hear you right? Yeah, you did. Is she serious or joking, Sonia? She seems serious. She also told me the same thing here. And I was so surprised to even say a word to her. Wow. So what do we do, Nancy? I want to hear you say it. I know what you guys do. I don't have to say it out. You've got to say it out for me to hear, cause I remember the last time I asked you about it. You didn't say anything, and you were acting like you didn't know what I was talking about. I was just acting up that day, not anymore. 
Tell me, Nancy. I need to know you know what you are getting into. You sleep is meant for money. I didn't hear you. Say it clearly, Nancy. Don't mind that, Nancy. But then, if you want to learn from anyone on how to be the top of your game, Precious is the person for you. I am taking you under my wings as my protege. You should have helped out, Cherry, instead of allowing him to do everything by himself. Why should I be pretending? You should have done it either way. I pray she is not at home by the time I get back. What will you do? Chase her out. I won't do that. Why would I? I'm just curious to know what you plan to do. I won't be able to do anything and I don't want to cause an issue with Sam. If she's at home tonight, act like a good wife and do what needs to be done. Who are you giving advice to? Me or my shadow? You, of course. Who else would I be giving advice to? Let me go to my office before I forget the reason why I was employed here. I'm coming for lunch. What did he cook for you? Go and get married so your husband will be cooking for you. Good morning, Adam. Where is my wife? Which wife did you give me to go home with that you're asking me of her? You know what I'm talking about, Sam. Where is Precious? Oh, she has gone back. You sent me a message that she was around and asked you to greet me. Well, she has gone back. Gone back? Yeah, she came to just see us and then she left. Really? Doesn't sound like the Precious I know. Well, maybe you don't know her anymore. Something happened at home again, right? She and Cherry. Nothing happened between she and Cherry. You can't lie to me. She sent me a text message that she wasn't going to come to the shop already. So you two have already spoken. Why then are you asking me all this? Because I was expecting to see her here until you went to Unit Hall for me. Me that I've already asked the fish woman to bring fish for her. I will eat the fish for her. Did she ask you to do that? But on a serious note, you need to settle this issue between your sister and your wife. They used to be so sweet together, but not anymore, Adam. And I'm tired of being in between all the time. I don't even know what happened today. So, how are you enjoying Nigeria so far? Not bad. I'm enjoying it all. I can see that. Are you planning on moving out of the hotel soon? I would, but for now, I'm not leaving. You must be paying a lot to keep here. I'm not actually paying. My dad was part of those who contributed greatly to this hotel. So whenever I come here, it's usually free. Wow, really? Yeah, but that's by the way. You are really a wealthy man, Chiki. I know that, but I don't let it get to me. You do, because I can't remember the last time you even called me. I've been busy with so many things. Which means you aren't busy with anything. When people say something like that, it means that they don't want to see you. I want to see you, Sonia. But like you told me, I should call you only when I need your services, right? And you didn't. That's because I don't need your services. Really? I'm not a man who is all about the bedroom. There is more to life than that for me. Don't mind my words, please. I'm not also all about that. I also have my business that I do. So you see, we are both busy with other stuffs, trying to get everything in place for our lives so we can sit down and relax soon. Something like that. You don't know what happened or you are refusing to know? What did she tell you happened? Aren't you the one who cooked dinner and breakfast? So she told you all this? Yes, she did. She was really pissed off on the phone. For how long do you want to keep doing this, Sam? How long? Why don't you both focus on something else? Like us getting married and having kids, right? Stay away from my sister. Don't you have a secondary school lover? Go to her. Is that what you would tell me? Yes, now. Go to her and stay away from my sister. How I run my home isn't anyone's business. You both can run your home as you like. She has said she will never come see you again. Is that so? Look, my customer is here. Bensi is here. Did you see all the clothes I showed you? Yes, I saw them. Those are going to be your new outfits. You can't be wearing these ones anymore. Okay, precious. Now, do you know how to work in heels? I don't wear heels. I'm already tall. Imagine how you would look when you wear the high heel and your beautiful long legs are elongated. I can't work with them. Do you think I also knew how to work in heels? I learned as well. Okay. What's your shoe size? 40. We are using the same size. I will teach you how to go on with it, okay? Okay. You have to look beautiful all the time, Nancy. And you've got to be comfortable in your own skin and self, okay? Yes, ma'am. If you follow everything that I've taught you, in no time you'll be a millionaire. I'm going to follow all you said, Precious. Good. I am even impressed with you. I love the fact that you made up your mind to join us in this business. We will make money together. Lots of money. Who made you move into this business, Sonia? Chiki, come on. Stop with the questions. Just this one question and that's all. I'm not going to answer that question. I told you already, didn't I? I have little interest in sharing anything about my private life. I can see that already. You don't have to tell me. Well, are we going to have a good time today? 
I don't think so. I'm still busy. I can see that. But I'm glad you came around, Sonia. It means a lot to me. Yeah, glad you saw as well, Chiki. I hope you will call me soon. Yeah, I will definitely. I've been calling my husband, but he's not taking his calls. Why? I don't know. Can you help me call him with your number? No, Cherry. I'm not doing that. I need to know if his sister is still around so I can act right. You want to go home and cook? I'll just boil rice for her and I hope she leaves us soon enough. What if she's here for like two weeks? She can't stay for two weeks. She's not a person to stay out at his spot. Yeah, that's true. Call my husband, please. I don't have his number anymore. Remember you deleted his number from my phone. I can call out the number for you. I will not call him. If he doesn't take your call, maybe he's in the middle of something. Or is he avoiding my calls? Do you think you did really badly? Not really, but she asked me a question and I kind of gave her a silly response. I just wish everybody would stay at their house. They should let me and Sam live our lives as we like. But no, everyone wants to get into our life. Ooh, and who are you inventing to as everyone? Everyone, precious, his friend, you as well. I'm less interested in you and your husband's life. I've got mine to deal with, okay? I know that. I need to get busy here. I didn't come to work to be chatting. You're angry already. I'm not. Just need to get busy here. Sam, pack the usual. Okay. Boss Adam, how is business going? It's going well. Just that it's been long since you last patronized me. I'm okay planning on changing the computers in the company. So I'm coming soon. I am really looking forward to that. I'll bring you my friend as well. I will really appreciate this boss. Are you married now? What about Adam? Are you married? I am not yet married. How then do you expect me to be married if you're not married? If you're a wealthy man who has money and has decided to not get married, then how can a poor man like me be married? Money isn't the only reason for delay in marriage. Getting the right person is usually the reason for most delays. That's true, but my friend here has a very pretty sister he can introduce you to. Sam used to mention his sister, but I've not met her. Look at her picture. She's a very beautiful, well product lady. Precious? Yes, that's her name, Precious. Look at her profile well, so you can add her at home when you get home. This is Sam's sister? Yes, his only sister. He was the one who trained her since their parents died. Wow. She's very beautiful, right? Nancy, aren't you done already? I'm coming. After all the whole time you've taken, just make sure you look so beautiful when coming out here. If not, I will not go out with you again. Oh my god, Nancy. How do I look? Is it so much? You look perfect. I love it. You're going to be a fast winner the way I'm seeing this. Let's go already. Remember how I told you to walk? Yes, I do. Lead the way, baby girl. Why are you here? What do you think? I thought you weren't going to work in your dad's company. I'm running out of cash, Benson. So, you're serious that you're getting broke? Really? Yeah, I'm for real. Why would I be lying to you? How broke? Really broke, man. Like, I've spent a lot of money overseas, done a lot of stuff that didn't work out, and I put my money into it. Yeah, you told me. That's why I need to make this marriage work out. I understand your desperation, but you are too picky. I hope you know this. You don't expect that I will just go for any woman because I'm looking for a wife. I've got to stay with this person for at least two years and what if I fall in love with her or she makes life miserable for me? The ladies I brought for you are good ladies. They aren't my kind of women and my aunt knows the kind of ladies I admire. If she smells the tiniest details that something is wrong, she'll make the whole divorce process hard. I know Auntie Nima. Good. So I can't risk anything. I would rather be with a woman I think I can have a future with. Have you gotten anyone yet? I haven't gotten anyone, man. You know what? You can try Precious. Who is Precious? The lady I went home with the other night. Sonia's friend. Nah, I can't do that. Don't you like her? Plus, she's too wild. But from a good family. So, I think you both can work out. You see? No, I'm not interested in Precious. I don't want you two making love in my house. What? I won't do that. I'll find a lady I'm looking for. I just need to take my time. How about your ex? No, no, no. Don't even talk about her, please. You've got a light alcohol there. I don't like the taste. Stop acting like a Virgin Mary, Nancy, okay? Okay, it's going to give me a serious headache if I keep taking it. You don't have to drink all. Just take it like a sip. Sip a little and that is it, okay? That is what I'm doing here. You've drunk almost all, Nancy. I have. 
Yes, you have. Look at my own glass. Can you see with still seam? I just sip and drop. Okay, precious. That man by the side is giving you an eye contact. I notice it as well, but I don't like him, so nah. You don't have to like him. You need to just like what is in his pocket, okay? He doesn't look wealthy. He's one of the wealthiest men in this club. He comes here every night and spends money like he's got a place full of cash. Have you ever gone home with him? Yeah, I have, and he spoils me with a lot of money. Give me double of the price. I see. Yeah, so if he keeps giving you the eye contacts, you can go to his table. Why is in Sam home now? Baby, welcome. Thank you. I need the one that has been calling my phone. Yeah, why did you come home late? And why haven't you been taking my calls? Today was a really busy day in the store, Cherry. Like, sales was good. Really? Yeah, everything went well. Like, I'm so happy. This is great news, babe. Hope you went to the market to still restock the store. Yes, I did. I went to the market, and that's why I'm late. Welcome, baby. Where is Precious? I didn't see her. Like you care about her. I'm so tired. What is that supposed to mean, Sam? Is he still looking at you? Yes, he is. But I don't want to be the one to go to him. Why not? Why can't he be the one to come to me? I'm the price to be won here. <laughs> Nancy, can you see that there are a lot of ladies around the club, lots of them, and the number of men here aren't so much? Yeah, I can see that. Soon, the club will be filled up, and still the number of ladies will be more than that of the men. So you've got to make a mark and have a man to go home with. Or you might have to return home with no cash in your purse. Someone has gone to him, Precious. You have to seize the opportunity here, Nancy. We have so many sellers, and the buyers are really selective. So we have to make them buy from us. This is our business, okay? Yes, ma. Hello, Bensi. You are around? You might have just gotten a better option, Nancy. Hello, baby girl. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Where is Sonia? She is home. No feeling so well. But this is Nancy, one of my closest friends. Hello, Nancy. I guess you are going to be my partner for the night while these lovebirds go on with their love business. What do you mean by what you said? We won't know you don't want my sister here. That's a huge accusation. Stop trying to pretend, Cherry. What transpired between the two of you? Nothing. Or did she tell you anything happened between us? There you are. Trying to play smart again, right? Did she tell you anything happened between us, Sam? Because I don't understand where all this is coming from. You don't pick my calls and now this. I was busy at the store. I told you. I don't believe you. So you think I was angry with you? With how you treated my sister, right? I didn't treat her bad. I didn't even say anything insulting to her. You're not a good liar, Cherry. I'm just letting you know this. You're not. I'm not trying to lie. You saw what happened this morning. No, I didn't. Do you know Precious took her bags and left the house angrily? He didn't even wait for us to talk about anything again. She was like, she would never come here again. I didn't have anything to do with that decision of hers. Okay. I made dinner for us. I'm not hungry. Your face doesn't look familiar. Do you come here often? No, I don't. But some faces are just so familiar when I see them. I used to party here back then when I was a party boy. So you're no longer a party guy? Once in a while, I still party with my friend over there. That's nice. So what's the reason for tonight's party? We are grateful for life. Really? What's the reason for today's party? Yeah, Nancy. Shouldn't you do that in the church or at home and not here in the club? Please, don't tell me you're a religious girl. The one who preaches for one after having a good time in the room. I could be that. <laughs> I would love to find out if that's really you. So what do you say we go somewhere else? You know, it's nothing less than 30,000. You take 30? Yeah. Consider it done. I might even tip you as well, Nancy. Let's go. Seems like they are living already. Yeah, I can see that. Why isn't Sonia here? She ought to be here. She has got other stuff to do. Other clients, you know. And you have not got others today? I have got you now. I didn't even know you were going to come here today. I'm here for you. Told you I would pay a special visit to your usual spot. Well, here it is. Although you offended me, Benson. What did I do? You promised me you would give me the location where you guys were having the meeting, but you didn't give me. I want you for me, Precious. For you? Is that it? Really? See, I can always be there as a special one when you need me. But that's all. I'm here to make money and I need this. Connect me, Bensi. Come on. Fine. I've heard you. I will let you know about the next big spot where there are wealthy men around. Thank you.